The video you are about to watch has been hidden away for almost a decade and is not for the faint-hearted. Recently uncovered, this is the 100% real and unedited recollection of my encounter with the Angel of Death. You've been warned. The other night, I had a dream. I had a dream that me and my buddy Jeff, aka Beals on Wheels, his channel will be linked in the description, were driving. It was a beautiful sunny day. Just driving for hours on hours and hours. And we entered a cemetery. And in this cemetery, a funeral was occurring. This was a video clip I have recorded on 8-18-2014. As I begin to discuss the dream I'd had, all my equipment went haywire. I recalled the dream in full detail, but none of it ever made it to the web until today. I still remember that dream like I had it last night. So one day, our dream starts. Me and my now boyfriend, Bills on Wheels, were on a road trip and the day was sublime. We drove around for quite some time when all of a sudden clouds rolled in, black as pitch. It began to rain. We turned on our wipers and continued driving. The rain wasn't going to ruin this road trip. Rain came down harder, harder, and even harder still. The visibility became almost non-existent. I had no idea where I was driving. Minutes later, I drove past a funeral in progress. A small family gathered around, weeping, taking no notice of the rain or the car that was using the grounds as its own rally stage. The rain became blinding once more. I couldn't see where I was going. I vividly remember hearing a crash. The rain stopped. It became smoke. As the smoke settled, I noticed I had wrecked into an above-ground tomb and a statue with a plaque that read Samael. A mist began to emerge from the broken statue and formed an impressive apparition of a man. He glared at me, and before I could react, he bellowed, I am Samael, the angel of death. You will pay for disturbing me. He thrust his hand through Jeff's heart, and he was dead. He thrust his hand through my heart, and his dream faded to black. This dream sent chills down my spine to this very day. I had woken up from the dream. The scary part wasn't dying. The scary part is through research. I found that the name that I heard in my dream uttered so, so vividly was the name given to the angel of death, the angel of wrath, most often associated with the Grim Reaper. I have no idea how this dream came to manifest, but I can say one thing. If I happen to be on a road trip with Jeff, and I start getting bits of deja vu, I can expect it to be the end of both of us.